Hey guys, EWR here, and today I will be showing you how you can increase your FPS in Microsoft Flight Simulator by around 5 to 10 with only a couple of steps. So here we are, we are in Denver, and right now we're in the outside view, we're getting an average of around 26 FPS in the CRJ 550, and it's pretty good considering that once you move away from the aircraft we get up to 36. Going inside the aircraft we get around a 30-31 FPS range, and I'm on high with only one setting for ultra and that's for the clouds um, but other than that everything else is on high and it looks pretty good so my average FPS was around 22 before I did what I will show you and what I did was actually pretty simple so I'm going to go into the general options and into the graphics section we can see that these are my settings I have a 1660 Ti and I, I'm pretty much running on high uh, settings this one I set it over 2080 even though I do have a out of 2080 a 1080 uh, even though I do have a 1080p monitor I set it to 2304 by 1296 just because I realized it improved the screen resolution a bit and it honestly made it a bit better in my opinion and here I didn't really change anything at all I have high settings on top of high settings only ultra setting being volumetric clouds as I stated earlier Moving on to the traffic section, here's where I made a bit of a change. The only thing I have changed was um, air per vehicle density to 10. Ground aircraft density, this is my personal choice. I realize that this has also improved FPS. I changed it to zero since if I'm flying on VATSIM, I don't need there to be traffic on the ground since um, I'd rather see what planes are flying rather than just static planes being on the ground. Leisurely boats, um, I set it to 20. I don't really fly around that many areas with water and road vehicles. I said that's a 25. Trips and fares also are 25, and at final density, I've left that at 10. Other than that, generic plane models, AI traffic, and multiplayer, I've set that to on, and traffic variety is on high. Other than that, uh, moving down to the data part, here's where I've received the most FPS boost. So here, everything is the same, but the only thing I've done is with my uh, manual cache, I deleted that, and with my rolling cache, I turned that on. And I set it to around 58 gigabytes of space. And what this has done is this has improved my FPS a lot. So as an average, I've gotten 22 while I was sitting at the gate around 23. Now I'm getting around an average of 30. And my friend said he was getting an average of 30. After he did what I told him to do, he got an average of 45 FPS. Or I'm supposing that since he sent me a picture. So... It's not that much. It's a pretty small change. And our next change is we're in the NVIDIA menu, NVIDIA control panel. I only got maybe one to two FPS boost, but I will just show that right now. And so here in the NVIDIA control panel, some things that I've done to improve my FPS or more or less over here and in the manage 3D settings. But first in the adjust image settings, um, what I did is I set this to balance. I let it, I let the, uh, you know, I would have let the application decide, but I set it for my per, uh, personal preference, which is balanced. Um, setting it to performance does give around a 3 to 4 FPS boost, but I personally like it on balance because I realize that not everything looks as good as I want it to look. And in my opinion, if I'm getting around at 25 FPS, I'd rather get 25 FPS and make it look good rather than getting 30 FPS and making it look terrible. Going here to the Manage 3D settings, what I've done is I've selected Microsoft Flight Simulator. And uh, all I've done is I've only changed four or five things, to be honest. Um, Anastropic filtering, I just set that for application controlled. Anti-aliasing, I set that to off. Low latency mode, I turn that to on. You don't need it on ultra, you can keep it on on. All this is going to do is it's going to, I believe, slow down the GPU a bit. Uh, so, the number, so the CPU can catch up. And so CPU and GPU is pretty much in the in a good area. And then um, the power management, I said to prefer maximum performance, about a 1 to 2 FPS increase. The texture filtering and a stropic sample, I've set that to off. The negative level of detail bias, I've set that to allow. For the quality, I set it to high performance for the texture filtering. And for the trilinear optimization, I set that to on. Vertical sync, I set that to fast. I haven't really seen any difference. I still see some screen tearing in the flight simulator. So for now, I guess I could just turn that off. Um, but we'll let the 
actually this should be one this should be off so there we go I believe it doesn't really impact your FPS another thing that you can do to improve smoothness is what consoles more or less have but we don't like it on PC that much is motion blur motion blur does make for a bit of a better uh, transition from one to another and it makes it look uh, pretty nice and it makes it look smoother as if it were to be on a console or something of course this does have its impact around one to two fps um, but for me low and medium i don't really get that big of an impact and in my opinion low and medium do look the exact same but i will set it to high just see what it look just see um, how it looks and show you guys right now as you can see it it looks actually a bit better than you know it's just going regularly and looking up at this guy I'm gonna around 45 to 50 FPS which if you know when I'm in the air I get around 45 here in Denver Chicago I get around 20 FPS and uh, yeah now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the last thing that I do I do overclock my PC from time to time but what I do is I don't just set my fan speed a bit higher so it can cool off my PC so that's the only thing I'm going to say. Just turn up your fan speed. It helps uh, cool off your PC a bit. And um, since it cools it off, it makes them run a bit faster. As you can see, I'm getting a, uh, it just jumped up to 32, which I only had 31 or 30 on average. Now it's jumping up to 32, which is actually uh, pretty good. And now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like and what our FPS are without the rolling cache on. So here we are in the flight sim after I changed my settings back to what they originally were. We can see about a 7 frame decrease and a lot of stuttering as you guys can see. Um, so right now I'm getting around 21 FPS while we would get around 31 FPS. Coming into the outside view we're getting only around 22, 23. Coming over here we're not even getting the 37 when you used to get it's around a 10 frame decrease. The reason is because we have these aircraft here and the liveries and we also have all these uh, ground handling here. And as you can see that's made a big impact on our FPS as you can tell. So I've just uh, reset everything in the traffic and actually we could just turn that off we don't need that and I set that to uh, what it used to be. You can tell it's not the best. Not the best with FPS. So here's what you want to do. So I'll go back to the traffic. I'll set this to high, set this back to 20 like I did it before. I'll probably just uh, go down here, set this to 25, or 20, why not 20. Set this to 0, set this to 20. And we're also going to set this probably to the 30s. 25, or yeah, you can be 20. This can be 25. This can be around 20 as well. And actually, why not? We can just set this to 30. So we do want to see some vehicles driving around. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to just uh, go to the multiplayer. That can stay off. I'll use generic plane models. We'll set that to off because I feel like. Uh, we can just keep it as it is. And only wait. Now we're getting a bit more FPS. We're at 25, which before we would get around, I think, 26. And inside, we're getting around 30. Around 29, 30. It's not that stable. It's a, uh, I don't know. It might be um, because I'm recording, it might be a bit you know, smoother. But right now, it's a bit stuttery. And with the rolling cache, it definitely improves it. And I'm getting around... 30 frames as before so that's the main thing that uh, boosts your FPS and along with that other than that we'll turn back rolling cash on and that's basically where we're gonna end the video so I hope you guys enjoy it I hope uh, this has improved your FPS another tip I'm going to say is this um, make sure to always restart Microsoft Flight Simulator after making your changes same thing with the NVIDIA control panel other than that uh, here's another tip. Always set your graphics to low and go from there to adjust it to um, be good for your specific um, setup. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll set up my rolling cache and I hope you have a good day. Hope this improves your FPS by a lot. 
hopefully like it did for me by around 5 to 8 FPS. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like and comment down below. Tell me if this helped or not. Or if you have any other tips and tricks that will help others. So yet again, thank you very much for watching this video. Staying to the end, and I'll see you in the next one.